We'll put two minutes on the clock. The time starts now. So Maria Santos is a 28-year-old female presenting to your GP clinic with three days of worsening cough and breathlessness. She has a history of asthma. She reports this began shortly after her nephew visited, who were currently unwell with a cold. Her only medical condition, uh, her only medication is salbutamol via metadose inhaler, which she uses twice a week before sport, has no known allergies. She doesn't smoke and drinks two drinks of alcohol one day per week. Uh, to examination, she's afebrile 37.1, her heart rate's 126 beats per minute, respiratory rate of 28, sats of 92 on room air, there is a diffuse wheeze to her chest auscultation, and she is unable to talk in full sentences. What immediate management actions are appropriate? Write six management actions. Doses are not required. Now, again, moving back to paper base to make sure that we are actually answering the question that is provided and providing as many answers as possible, uh, as well as doing the usual, usual underlining and uh, answering things, I would actually be writing out here one to six just to make sure that we are actually providing an answer in. And I'll go quiet for a minute so you can provide your own responses. How do we all feel there? Let's bring up some of the answers and we'll see how your answers compared. Uh, so, again, the, some of the key things to focus on here is the fact that we are talking about the immediate management actions and six management actions. Again, doses are not required and we are getting constant feedback from the college that uh, for this upcoming exam, doses will not be important, not be required. Uh, and so step one is, of course, make sure the patient's positioned appropriately. Uh, and uh, taking this into context, this is an exacerbation of asthma. Uh, but we have poor but adequate saturations. This is someone who is obviously having a bit of a hard time breathing, but I think here we'd, we've got some time to, to actually play and, and get these uh, kind of things sorted. I don't know if I'd necessarily be uh, calling for an emergency ambulance straight away. Uh, so again, making sure the patient's positioned correctly can make a massive difference. So having them in a uh, sitting or tripod or upright position. Uh, and, of course, we're going to be going our burst therapy, so salbutamol uh, via metadose inhaler and spacer. We do know you generally have better penetration of the chest using those metadose inhalers with a spacer attached as well. Uh, Ipotropium bromide inhaler with spacer as well, uh, if you have one handy in the clinic, and you should find most doctor's bags will have this for this exact situation. Uh, again, if you're seeing a good response here, you would also be considering prednisolone uh, for three to five days. Now, depending on which guidelines you're looking at at the moment will depend on uh, timelines the prednisolone is prescribed for. Now, if the saturations aren't improving, you would, of course, consider supplemental oxygen to maintain saturations. And it's about at this, uh, this point, I think, that if you're not seeing those improvements, you would definitely be considering that uh, ambulance to transport, transfer to emergency. Uh, now, something that I think also reflects that this is a you know, higher or consultant level knowledge is to reflect that you would be constantly reassessing the severity and response to treatment as you went along to guide further decision making. Everyone happy with that? Throw any comments or uh, questions in the chat. Otherwise, we will move along then to question 1.2. Everyone ready? Two minutes on the clock, and your time starts now. Maria makes a full recovery, comes back to see you a short time later. She reports that she has had four exacerbations of asthma in the last 12 months and wants to know what might be the signs of poor asthma control. Write three.
three specific indications of poor asthma control. Right, how did everyone go? Of course, let's get to the answers. Uh, and apologies if you can hear the rain in the background. I think the audio is going to be terrible tonight. What are you going to do? Uh, so, uh, this question implies you've got a, a decent working knowledge of the uh, asthma guidelines. And this is either using a combination of the contents of ETG or Asthma Foundation Australia. Uh, so, I think the key qualifier here is the specific indications of poor asthma control. Uh, and so the poor asthma control is daytime symptoms more than two days per week, the need for a SABA reliever uh, more than two days per week or not taken prophylactically before exercise. Uh, a lot of the places you'll read will actually just specify the need for SABA reliever more than two days per week, but there's always that little asterisk there. And if you go down to the fine points, that's where it specifies not taken prophylactically before exercise. Because uh, I think it's, it's a good thing, I think, to encourage people in this situation to be able to use it prophylactically. Uh, any limitation in activities will score you another point, as well as any symptoms during night or on waking. Uh, and so if you are seeing these things, you should be escalating. Uh, f well, we'll find out in a moment. There's going to be another question on this, but you should be escalating their care. Uh, okay, everyone ready to move on? Here we go. With two minutes on the clock. Your time starts now. You determined that Maria needs to improve her, the control of her asthma. What a surprise. What steps would you take to improve her asthma control? Write four steps if doses are not required.
All right, everyone, how do you feel you went there? Let's have a look at the answers. So, again, uh, you need to have a pretty decent understanding of the asthma guidelines here. Uh, and of course, any time we are thinking of improving control, the first step is going to be to review the inhaler technique, correcting if required. Uh, I think you would still get the full mark if you just say, uh, specified review inhaler technique. Uh, but again, to, to kind of make it more fleshed out and to be more accurate, you would probably be better off putting in there correcting if required as well. Uh, even though it's a given what we're going to do, uh, it's showing that we are specifically looking to improve that. Uh, of course, now, next step, uh, we've got a grouping here. So these are things that you would do, but you wouldn't do both of these together. You would have to choose one or the other, and you would get the full two marks, depending on which one you chose. Uh, and the first one is, of course, commence regular inhaled corticosteroid preventer at an appropriate dose. Now, they have specified doses not required, uh, and so you don't, uh, you shouldn't have to specify a specific dose, but I probably would emphasize that I'd be starting it as a low-dose inhaled corticosteroid. Now, uh, choices here, and again, I probably would um, specify which one I would do, uh, and that could be flutigazone, beclometazone, uh, budesonide, or uh, cyclozonide. Uh, and specifying those would give you the full two marks. I think if you didn't specify a particular agent, you'd probably um, go back down to that one mark bracket. <clears throat> Uh, now, of course, uh, in that same kind of vein, you could commence a as-required budesonide or uh, flumoterol, uh, and that would, again, give you the full two marks, specifying that it's as-required as opposed to the regular medication, uh, but you wouldn't be doing that alongside inhaling uh, a regular inhaled corticosteroid preventer. Now, of course, ensure using spacer. Now, there could be some overlap between review inhaler technique uh, and so I would only be putting this one down if I kind of ran out of all other options and was struggling to think of something else to put in there. Uh, but of course, provide asthma action plan or asthma management plan. Uh, definitely, definitely indicated in this case. And of course, organize regular reviews such as every three months. And I think you're going to be much better served if you do specify a time frame. Uh, and you'd probably get even... Uh, you'd be even more secure in your marks by specifying to review asthma control. All right. Happy with that? Unhappy with that? It's the exam.